So how do you feel about that Willie Moore Jr. situation based off of what you heard? Do you think it's do you, crazy. Do you, do you think Willie Moore manipulated his his then wife or was he living a double life? He was li- it's given living a double life because he said he just Mr. Flat Out Keep it one honey. It's just We used to listen just, to that on uh what is it? The Lord, yeah, I remember you used to, I'm telling you, you used to listen to that shit religiously. All the time. What happened? Why you stopped listening? Did he stop coming on the radio? Yeah. He yeah. went, to, it was, he was, blah, blah. he was on a different station, series, something, whatever, but it wasn't on the radio. So. I ain't hey, about to hold you. I always got the feeling the he was portraying to be but something he was For the fact for him to say he just learned to love himself three months ago, and it was just like, okay, cool. I mean, people f- figure out different things over time, whatever. But for you to be with this chick from the same time you and your wife been together, and, and your she wife said telling that you that she didn't feel like she didn't feel that was relationship appropriate. was appropriate. But she f- really never paid in no attention until outsiders were making her aware that the relationship was inappropriate. That's just we, the crazy. That's we, the same. We've been there before. Like when I first got with Sony, she didn't feel comfortable about a particular person. And and then I had to like tell her, like, Lord no. The adult in me would never touch that shit with a broomstick. The adult in you. Yeah. But then But that was then. I was a I wasn't not still, mature. I wasn't I mean, mature. I mean, but that was still the That question. happened in my teen years too. But that was <laughs> that's the thing I can see if nothing had ever happened but it's yeah, just the thing that it mean. happened yeah it was before me but the situation happened so it's just like some people just ask questions like what's going on with this is this a situation that could be like a relapse you know it do, and, 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 and it do get worse though when I told you and I'm speaking as her that I, th- I felt like this person wasn't an appropriate I mean wasn't appropriate for our relationship, and then you end up with this person. Yeah. Shit seemed like a scene out of a fucking movie. I feel like we've seen this movie before. But it's just like, you never... How did we get married? Why did we get married? Yeah, why did we get mm-hmm. married? Exactly. The, the, uh, the assistant. The first one and the second one. Yeah, the yeah. assistant and all that, but, I mean, look. You know how you feel like the person... The person. Twenty twenty three has been the year of the doozy of breakups and divorces, just and the, it's just of everything. Been, what? It's been like a lot of drama, and you would expect it. You would have expected a lot of this to happen between two thousand nineteen. The pandemic, and, and you know, yeah, to find like it's like folks had a lot of build up animosity for one another. Folks have decided to no longer hold the peanut like the monkey did that Pastor was talking about and they decided to just open their hand and release and let go because jeez yeah. it's crazy. It, it just it, it, you can count that like these because now Kiki Palmer and the baby and restraining the, on her against a dude that claimed to to care about her but you know, like, 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 even me, like early on with me and my wife, like we used to get into arguments where she could pick a bone and she'd push a button, and I wasn't, I wasn't raised. You know, I want to say this, like, I think growing up in a household with my grandmother and her husband, there were a lot of times where they spent a lot of time arguing about things, like the one the one the one time that I dreaded was when it was time to file taxes and then watch them go to the liquor store to cash that check and them sit in that car after cashing that check and them argue back and forth about what she deserved and what she should get and I never wanted to be like that you know like where like where you fighting over just sitting there fighting over money like just like literally like I, and I can understand to his. I didn't ask for. I didn't ask to have Michael here. So like, why am I? Why do I have to give more of my hard earned money to take care of someone I didn't ask for? And I mean, I understand that. But I also don't want to use my past trauma and my past situations for every situation I get into, just because that's the excuse I have in my back pocket. Like, that just don't make no sense to me. 
Like growing up in a dysfunction don't mean I need to continue that dysfunction into my caring relationships. I know they say they say sometimes um, uh, your past traumas will be your today traumas or whatever the hell they say. But still, like in my mind, that shit just does not make no sense for me to just sit there and be like, okay, my father wasn't shit. Me and my mom don't get along. My grandmother and grandfather, all they did was argue. Um, They didn't teach me what family really supposed to be like Nick. no one ever told me how to be a husband or nobody ever told me how to be a father but okay where's the responsibility of myself to go out and learn these things or try to figure it out and i also got to understand that i can't go to people who don't know how to do that shit to try to figure that shit out that shit just don't make sense like so like a lot of this shit when you hear people use excuses about like their past traumas yeah, like, yeah, that's a problem. And yeah, you should seek help if you need help. But also it's your responsibility to try to educate yourself and learn how to unlearn those past traumas. And I mean, ain't no other way to look at it. So for me, like, I always try to think about it. I've been in a lot of tough situations. I'm, and I can't even make this shit up. Like, I've been in a lot of tough situations, right? I tried living with my father for a year and that became abusive. I lived with my grandmother and my grandfather and all they did was argue, but I still had to be responsible for myself. And I, and like, I can't, I'm not about to make no excuse to say, okay, because I was in those situations, I should be a, I should be a dirt ball or I, I should pretend to be something I'm not, or I should put my hands on my wife or because I'm frustrated, like this and that. She ain't about to go for that. She a tourist just like me. She ain't about to pop off. She going to pop right off on my ass. She going to boop me. So, like, I miss me with the fact that I should feel bad for any dude who go out and mistreat their woman, make them believe that they one person, but behind the scenes, they somebody else. Like, I I, I, I think I try so hard to, like, put her first, and she don't even realize it sometimes because she quick to throw that shit in my face. But I think I do it sometimes, and sometimes it, it, it pisses me off that I'm doing it. That I'm so serious. Like, why do you, like, why do you, Michael, why do you want to put her first when you should be putting yourself first? Because I, I can't help myself. <laughs> and everybody saw said, you better put that woman first. You know, I can't help myself. But I honestly ain't had nobody to ever teach me how to be like this. So, like, I feel like happy wife, happy life. So, I tried my best to make her as happy as I possibly can, even when it bothers me. You know, so like it, it just ways to do things like and I think sometimes sometimes this generation and, and this generation of love or whatever you believe it to be. Y'all just they, they find the easy way out. Like they find ways to make excuses and shit.